numbers beyond 30. Uh, of course, 30 would be Dersh, Yau Dersh again in Pashto. You you um, start with the with the one and then the tens. Yau Dersh, Dua Dersh, Dre Dersh, Salor Dersh, Pinza Dersh, Spag Dersh, Uwa Dersh, Ata Dersh, Na Dersh. Forty through sixties are like thirties. Um, so 40 would be Selwech, uh, 50 would be Pinzos, and 60 would be Shpeta. 70s. Uh, let's start off with 70. Awya, Yau Awya, Dua Awya, Dre Awya, Salor Awya, Pinza Awya, Shpag Awya, Uwa Awya, Atta Awya, Na Awya. 80s and 90s are similar to 70s. Atya, Nui. Uh, again, the units precede the tens, or the ones precede the tens. I want you to read through these notes and memorize uh, the information here. And um, to be assured that you've learned numbers in Pashto, make sure you read the following numbers. Square the following numbers, if you can. Multiply the following numbers, if you can. Count by 5 to 100. Count by 3s from 30 to 60. And count by 7s from 70 to 98. Large numbers. Um, sal is 100. Yauzar is 1,000. Uwa sao means 700. Uwa sao, 700. Uwa zar means 7,000. Dua Sao means 200, Dua Zar, Zara means 2000, Salor Sawa means 400, Salor Zara means 4000. The unit precedes the hundreds again, or the thousands. Multiply hundreds or thousands must use the plural form. Multiple hundreds or thousands must use the plural forms Sawa and Zara, which uh, indicate um, their plural. Examples of large numbers, uh, 3,145, Dre Zara, 3,000, Yau Sal, 100, Au and Pinza Sal Weich, 26,987, Spag Zara, uh, 26,000, Na Sao, Sawa, 900, Au, Uwa atya. Au and au means and uwa atya means seventy eight. Excuse me, eighty, um, eighty seven. Uwa atya seven eighty or eighty seven. One thousand five hundred. Yauzar one thousand au pinza sao. One thousand and uh, five hundred. Pinza sawa. 5,285. Pinza Zara Dua Sawa Au Pinza Atya. 6,930. Shpag Zara Na Sawa Au Shil. The order of large numbers is usually the same as in English, except that the units precede the tens. With 100 Uwa o, ma, Au must be set between the hundred and the ones and the tens. Uh, with other hundreds, the au is optional. The numbers are usually written without commas or periods, separating the thousands from the hundreds. Practice, read the following numbers in Pashto then in, in, in English. Answer the following questions. Ya, yawa, ura, so, sa'ata, da. One day is how many hours? Yawa, miyash, so, ura, da. One month is how many days? Yaw, kal, so, mausima, di. One year has how many seasons? Yawa Afghani so paise kigi. One Afghani uh, is how many paisas or cents? Yawa hafta so urazi da. One week is how many days? Yawa hafta so saata da. Hafta in Pashto is always one also. You will see one. Yawa one so 
ساعت ده یو کال سو ورزی دی وان یر از هاو مینی دیز کاونت بای هندرد فرام وان هندرد تو تو تاوزند کاونت بای تاوزند فرام تو هنی تاوزند تو فوری تاوزند کاونت بای تاوزند فرام وان تاوزند وان هندرد فیفتی تاوزند تو تو هندرد تن تاوزند سامری اف سترون پرونانس یو شود میمورایز دیس میک اندکس کاردز اند لک ات ات ایوری دی ز ت د د م ت د د م ت د د مون تاسه دوی دوی هغوی هغوی هغه 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 and I want you to read these notes on your own. ز د پختو خون کی نیم دی د پخت د پختو خون کی دی I am not the پشتو teacher. He is the پشتو teacher. د پختو خون کی دی He is the پشتو teacher. د پختو خون کی دی The stress on the third person out of sight uh, pronouns is on the second syllable. Pashto has um, in sight and out of sight pronouns depending on whether something is in sight or out of sight. Um, as you can see here, um, in sight would be masculine D um, and feminine Da, uh, but out of sight would be Haga and Haga. So, object of a preposition um, third uh, person in sight would be da but uh, out of sight would be haga um, feminine would be de and um, feminine out of sight would be hage pashto in the many sense in, in, in more than one sense is, uh, is a pretty accurate language in certain respects in specific. Uh, practice, I want you to practice these sentences. Sishay di kha isi. Sta sishay kha isi. So you're changing from, um, you're uh, identifying the strong pronouns in the following sentence and give the appropriate English translation for each. Okay, so you're identifying which is the strong pronoun. Sta is a strong pronoun and um, the English translation is you, of course. ز با آشک را وارد ت سشای را وارد. Here ز would be strong pronoun. Here ت is strong pronoun. ز means me. ت means you. کباب با ز خبلا پوک کردم. Here ز is me again. It's a strong pronoun. I will be cooking the kebab. ت سینگا یوازه ناستیه. ت means you is a strong pronoun. سینگا how is it یوازه alone ناست means sitting. یه you are. تبد غلزای ساب نوی شاگرده یه تا again is a strong personal pronoun تا سکار کوی again تا تا سینگ یه زما کورنی دو دیر لوی باغونه لری زما again strong pronoun رضا پا کابل کاروان رستوران که زما ملما شا زما again is strong pronoun چپ لاسته دی سالورم کور زمو دی Zmu is a strong pronoun. Tacho motar na lareta is strong pronoun again. Translate the following pairs of 